Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a tutorial for you on how to use Lightroom and Photoshop to do focus stacking so that you can get a sharp image from the foreground in the front all the way through to the back. Uh, what I did here was I took this photo with uh, the focus set on this log so that I could get this sharp. I did a second photo with focus on this rock and third focus third photo with focus on this rock in the background. I probably could have taken four and gotten one uh, down the back there, but I didn't think of that at the time. So I have edited this first one, which uh, looks pretty good to me, and then I have synced those edits across to these other two photos, which are the ones I'm going to take into Photoshop. Now what I'm going to do is I'll right click, uh, edit in, then open as layers in Photoshop. Now I've already done this just to save a little bit of time. So here we are in Photoshop and they've opened up as layers. Now you can rename these if you want to to foreground, midground, background, but I haven't because I know uh, what order they were taken in by the file numbers as foreground, midground, background. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I've highlighted the first one, I will shift, hold shift and click on all three and then go up to edit auto align layers leave it on auto and click OK this is going to align the images so that they look exactly the same and don't have any uh, sort of miss areas like this one has uh, when I move the focus ring it's a little bit differently because um, the lens I was using changes um, when you change the focus ring but once this is done I'm going to go up to edit again and go down here to auto blend layers and here I'll go with, I'm going to choose the option stack images and have seamless tones and colors ticked if you have sort of pixelated clear edges around the outside of your image um, you can do content aware fill transparent areas this one doesn't actually have any um, so I'm just going to leave that unticked and then I'll just hit OK so this is going to blend these three images together and once it has it will come up with uh, down here the masks of which areas Photoshop has chosen for it to be uh, the sharpest area to keep in the shot alright so there we go so here you can see the foreground, which is this log, uh, and a little bit of the water. Uh, midground, which is sort of a lot of it around here. And then the background, which is this rock, and a little bit down the back. So you can either flatten the image or merge all the layers if you want to. Um, I'm not going to, so I'm just going to hit Command S, which will save it. It's Control S on a PC. So this is saving, and it's going to send it back to Lightroom. Now that's a really good point because Adobe's made these two work really well so you can open straight in Photoshop and then send back to Lightroom once you've finished your edits if you wanted to do any more to the photo uh, or if you just wanted to um, export it or keyword it or save it wherever you want to directly from Lightroom so it's in your library. So this is just taking a second and we're almost there. Okay, so my photo is opened up here in Lightroom, and if I zoom in, as you can see, it's very sharp on the wood in the foreground. And come up here, it's sharp on the rocks in the midground. And then up here, even more, it's sharp on the rocks here in the background. Now I have got a slight line just going through the rock. That's where it's blended. Uh, with Photoshop but as you're looking as you zoom out uh, you can't actually notice it so you could do a manual exposure manual focus stacking blend uh, if you wanted to and you knew exactly which parts of the image were um, were sharp this can get quite inaccurate but I'll do a, another video on that um, just so we can keep this one short yeah so that's how you do it with focus stacking it's a very easy process it's actually very quick you can get it done in five minutes uh, and it makes your photos look so much better 
I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. And be, make sure you visit the Lightroom Learning Center uh, over at ryanfowler.photography. There will be a link in the description below so you can go check it out. There's so many more tutorials in there, and I'm adding more every single week. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the